Tula in Yemen is one of the best examples of a living walled city in the Arabian Peninsula. The city flourished during the 15th century as a center of the Sabaean civilization. During the 16th century, it was the only stronghold in Yemen to hold out against Ottoman rule. It played a significant role in Yemen's history, both in the pre-Islamic and Islamic era. In addition, the cultural landscape that's still functioning, people are still linked to their surroundings and to their environment. So there are several factors that gives the city its position as one of the most important historic cities in Yemen. In 2004, a new road was built linking the historic town with the cities of Amran and Haja. Small shops and developments began to spring up along the road, which passes just 30 meters from the Bab al Maya. They connect the, the villages with the new road, going, passing by the old town, which uh, will cause a lot of problem in the future, damaging the, the architectural uh, elements and the features or the landscape, the terraces of the town. Work was undertaken in several stages to restore every part of the fort. Watchtowers, paths, the walls of burial grounds and agricultural terraces, and the Bab al Maya gate itself. Work on the stairway to the fort uncovered the remains of an even older building. Archaeological investigations on the site have cast new light on Sabaean history and culture. No fort in Yemen looks like this. It contains passages and walls, and underneath this is a canal system collecting water and distributing it to the city. Meanwhile, restoration continued on the fort's main system, which is still in use today by the people of Thula. It is still living. The community is still linked to the water cisterns that are collecting water for their needs nowadays. Once you build a model that is really delivering, then people really will believe in preservation, they will believe in heritage.